with regards to the unseen world and jinns and sihr or black magic, whatever it is, there are the the people that get affected first get affected first are of, of some kind. Number one, they might be the weak hearted or the one with the weak willpower, the one with the weak aqidah. Number two, the one with the weak actions of the deen. So somebody who's not practicing the deen, someone who's not practicing the deen and they're away from the deen, they, they are they are susceptible to be you know to be affected they can be affected but mostly from those people who are not practicing the people who stay in impurity this is very another important aspect I'm saying people who stay in impurity so a person sleeps with his wife or now will sleep with a woman he's not supposed to sleep with and they basically are in a state of janaba they're supposed to have a ritual bath and cleanse their whole body through having proper bath and they don't do that. Now they are asking, you know, shayateen, come, be with me. Okay? Now shaitan, wherever you are, come, be with me. Because shaitan has no reason to be away from them. You can read Quran at that time, your Quran is not going to be accepted. Women on their menses, it's an impure state. And they should basically, you know, it's not just because they're on the, you know, menses. If they're praying before their menses, if they're always observe, you know, praying after their menses, if they are observing the hijab, they normally are practicing women. That doesn't matter. But a woman who doesn't practice, and then a woman who's on her menses, she's basically now in some form of weakness. She's now prone to. to I'm not saying she's going to get attacked straight away. Please, no, don't get the message wrong. All right. But I'm saying that she is weak. Now there's weaknesses. Now the weaker you become, the, the, the stronger you basically you see your opponent and the more you basically can be prone to some kind of attack. Uh, in f terms of najasa or impurity, there is keeping the fingernails long and having a lot of dirt underneath it to not uh, clean the unwanted hair off the body around the private parts under the armpits not doing that you know for more than 40 days um, person become prone to that a person who who doesn't really live with cleanliness like a Muslim should you know they're basically showing weakness now we're not saying something's gonna attack them but it's almost like your immune system if you know winter's arriving a lot of people a lot of you I'm seeing you you know you'll have cardigans you'll have something thick you know to wear Unless, of course, you know, you're a hot, hot person. You know, some people, they, they, they're hot anyway. You know, some people, you yeah, have seen them. I saw the other, the other day, I was freezing. And there's a guy who's, you know, he, he's a little white boy. He's basically got his whole, whole um, body uncovered. You know, from the waist down, he's covered with trousers. But the whole body is uncovered. He's in 11 degrees. And he's got a bike. And he's basically just biking down. And I think, you know, well, Allah's created some people like that. You know, they, they, they don't feel the cold. There's others who will feel the cold really easily. Now the same thing with the unseen world and some of the, you know, ghoulies that are out there. Your weakness is key to what actually happens. Weakness of belief or weakness of, you know, whatever. It's an immune system. We've all got an immune system. Now, to boost, boost your immune system, what do you do in the normal world? Because this is how literally you've got to see it. If you go, if, if you're basically catching a cold, if you're catching a cold, you've got to boost, boost your immune system. Now naturally, if you eat properly, if you rest properly, your immune system is going to be high. But if you're not doing that, if you're not eating properly, if you're not sleeping properly, immune system is weak. And then you go out, you know, without protecting yourself properly and the cold catches you, then you become... You get a flu, all right, or you get a you, you catch a cold. Now it doesn't matter; it's not the end of the world. You catch a cold. And what happens after that? Well, you you know, if you're a young man, you can just you know, you can just sweat it off. If you're a young man, you can sweat it off. You don't have to bother too much. If you're a little bit older, maybe you know a few lemon sips, whatever. You know, I'll get some ginger, whatever, lemon, this and that, paracetamol, no, 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 a few few mornings, whatever. Then you sort of you know burn it off. But if you're basically, if you're already, you've got a weak body or you're old, then you might be looking at some, some serious sort of two weeks in bed, three weeks in bed, you know, just for a simple cold or a simple flu, and you can't shake it off. 
or you're having difficulty shaking up. Why is that? It's all to do with the different uh, you know, strengths that are playing with one another. Now, with this thing about yourself, myself, and the unseen world, and what the creatures that Allah has created in the unseen world, firstly, you know, there's not going to be, you know, I don't want everyone to think that out there, you know, my God, you know, better, you know, better, oh my God, I've got long nails, you know, quickly <laughs> cut him. You know, I don't want you to start, start thinking, uh, you know, like, like that straight away. But what I want to say to you is that there are, it's a case of two different strengths. Two different strengths. If, if your immune system is high and the kind of cold that you've caught is in the cold that you've got is low, then it's really not going to have much effect. But if your immune system is low, and the, the type of thing that you've caught is high, right? It's going to affect you. Now, you could have a strong immune system, but you might get something which is really tough. It's not a cold. It might be a, some kind of real serious illness. It might be TB. It might be TB. Now, if someone's got a good, if someone's got a good, strong immune system, but you get TB, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you. And you're going to have to do something strong to shake that off. Yes or no, brothers? Yep. You're going to have to stay in hospital. You're going to have to take several tablets throughout the whole of the year. And you're going to have to shake it off. Now, look at the seriousness of TB. It's not a, it's not a small case. It's a, it's a serious disease that, that people can die with. So now you can understand from this world of jinns and sihr and so on, there is a strength within themselves. There's weak jinns. There's strong jinns. There's weak black magic, there's strong black magic. There's weak things out there, there's strong things out there. And it, it depends on what's coming in contact. Now, the number one rule is, number one rule is that jinns or the, you know, the, the, whatever Allah has created in terms of the, the world of jinns, they're not supposed to cross over into our world. Allah.